and welcome guys uh, in today's video i'll be talking about uh, what is the thrust required as well as the power required during the cruise phase okay so if an aircraft is uh, going down the runway it has got a takeoff phase it, it has got a cruise phase it has got a descent phase as well as it has got a landing phase okay so we are now considering only about this case which is the cruise case okay so we are going to find out what is the thrust required as well as the power required okay during the cruise phase okay so always when an aircraft is in the cruise phase okay if that is a wing always the lift will be equal to weight and thrust will be equal to drag so always thrust is equal to drag and lift will be equal to weight okay so from this equation if i take this as one and this as two okay from 2 in say okay um lift is equal to weight so what is the lift formula n is equal to half rho v square s into cl okay which is equal to w now what is v here from we can find v from here v is nothing but the velocity so v is how much v is equal to root of 2 into w by s by rho into cl okay so this is the velocity formula okay and I take this formula to be as equation 3 okay so from this we have got a new term what is W by S W by S is nothing but the wing loading so W by S in the in the numerator so this is nothing but um, the wing loading okay now what is wing loading W by S as I told is nothing but nothing but wing loading okay so if we can increase the surface area the wing loading will decrease so if the wing loading decreases from the formula we can we can find out that I'll put the formula so from the formula we can find out that as the wing loading um, decreases the velocity also decreases okay so lesser the engine power is required and lesser the fuel consumption okay so this is the whole concept about wing loading so it is always good to increase the surface area but all but only up to a certain limit because if we keep on increasing as i said before in the parasitic drag part as we keep on increasing the surface area the parasitic drag also keeps increasing okay so this is the concept about wing loading now we can find out that uh, our concept is about what is the thrust required okay so we'll write the equation again that lift is equal to weight and thrust is equal to drag okay so what is the thrust here okay if i say thrust by weight is equal to okay drag by l okay i'll take that I'll, uh, as this ratio thrust by weight is equal to drag by lift so what is thrust now thrust is w by if i take the d down we can we can say w by l by d so if i again expand it if I, if I if I can again write it another way W by L by D can be written as CL sorry can be written as 
सी ए एल बाई सी डी ओके सो वॉट इज दिस थ्रस्ट थ्रस्ट इज नथिंग बट द थ्रस्ट विच इज आर ई क्यू विच इज नथिंग बट द थ्रस्ट रिक्वायर्ड सो वॉट इज थ्रस्ट रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज थ्रस्ट रिक्वायर्ड मीन्स एवरी एयरक्राफ्ट हेज गॉट अ ट्रैक टू ओवरकम द ट्रैक वी नीड टू हैव थ्रस्ट सो दिस इज अ मिनिमम थ्रस्ट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड सो सो इफ यू कैन इंक्रीज द सी एल बाई सी डी मैक्स ओके the less thrust is required yes because if i increase the cl by cd to the maximum the less thrust is required okay now how to find out what is the thrust which is required the minimum thrust which is required okay so that is what we are going to find now from the drag polar equation we found out that cd is equal to cd not plus k into cl square okay if we also know that l by d can be written as cl by cd okay so cl can be if if i again write it cl can be written as cl itself cd can be written as a for drag formula as this okay so sorry can be written as cd not plus k into cl square okay now if i differentiate this what i get is the cl okay so i'll differentiate it and and i'll show you so if i differentiate this equation we'll find out that if i differentiate it with do cl do by do cl is or nothing but into cl by of cl by cd is equal to 0 now if i differentiate it with cl what i get cd not plus k into cl square into 1 minus minus cd not uh, since we are differentiating it with cl uh, cd not will be 0 plus 2 into k cl okay which is equal to 0 okay by cd not plus k into cl square the whole square okay when the when the denominator goes to the um, goes to the rhs side it becomes zero so what comes in the end we get cd not plus k into cl square minus 2 k cl square is equal to zero so we can further um simplify here it becomes minus k into cl square is equal to 0 so cd not is equal to k cl square okay is equal to k cl square okay so i told that if cl by cd is maximum the thrust required will be minimum so cl by cd is equal to cl okay so cl is equal to root of cd not by k so this is the thrust required minimum so this is the formula for thrust required minimum so what is the cd not of an aircraft every aircraft has got a constant value of cd not cd not is nothing but the parasitic drag according to the profile shape of the aircraft each profile has got a specific cd not value k is also a constant which is 1 by pi e ar okay so uh, as aspect ratio increases the 
k also changes so every aspect every aircraft with different aspect ratio has got different k value so we get a constant cl cl value okay so from this we can find out the velocity from equation 3 uh, as i told that v is equal to root of 2 into w by s by rho into cl right so the cl can be now written as what root of cd naught by k so this is the minimum thrust which is required for an aircraft to fly at cruise level so this is very important so because we know the wing loading of an aircraft and we know the density at which we are flying since we know the altitude at which we are flying every altitude has got their own density value we can find out the density so cd naught by k is nothing but the cl value okay so every aircraft has got their own cl value too so we can find out the cd naught and k as well so in the end we get the thrust required for an aircraft to fly at cruise level so how, what is the power which is required so the power formula is nothing but power is nothing but what power is equal to power is nothing but force into velocity so, so the force here is thrust into velocity so the thrust formula we found out now what is the thrust formula thrust formula is Uh, for a cruise uh, for a cruise flight we know that uh, since um, thrust is w by cl by cd okay w by cl by cd okay into velocity velocity at cruise is how much velocity at cruise is we found out now which is root of w by s of rho into cl of which is thrust required okay which is a thrust required so we have all all the value for power which is required at cruise phase so because we know what is the weight of the aircraft is okay we know the cl by cd value okay we know what is the wing loading and since we know the velocity of an aircraft we know the whole of this value okay so we can find the power which is required at cruise phase so this is a calculation which is followed by an air uh, by an by a pilot so if we can fly if we can uh, fly at this or uh, if we can fly at this velocity and power it is good for an aircraft so if you all found my video informative do like share and subscribe thank you